Hey guys, welcome back. Build it big with City Skylines. This is episode 39. I'm Enigmius, and today uh, we've been busy. We've been very busy. We've been making a lot of changes. We've been trying to resolve some of our traffic issues before we make our city any larger than it currently is. And uh, we've gone a long way towards doing that. We're not uh, perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but we're a lot better than we were. Basically, my, my primary focus was to go through all of the interchanges like this, uh, even a traffic circle like this, this guy up here, um, some of this stuff over here next to our second train station, all kinds of stuff. This here, we redid, I re, I think I left this, actually, that might be the way it was from before. Uh, same with this, that was the way that it was before, I know that. Straighten things out, bringing things, uh, for example, you might notice the highways here all the way along are closer together, they're basically right next to one another. The idea was to streamline everything so that vehicles can go where they want to go as quickly as we can get them there under the circumstances without all the snarl ups and the delays and all the other things that can happen that kind of mess things up and, and cause problems down the line. You can see we've still got a lot of abandoned buildings down in the industrial area here. We've got a little bit of abandoned stuff down over in this area. A uh, tiny bit of abandoned low density residential where we're getting really hammered with the abandoned stuff is over here. This basically this whole industrial area apparently has nobody to work in it and that's that's kind of a problem. So that's why we're going to be building a new low density residential area over here with direct access to this industrial area similar to what this uh, residential area had for this industrial area. We want to get as many workers into here as we possibly can so that we can get this back up and running and we can get our, our population on the grow again because it's basically stagnant now where it is. Since the last episode, our population has gone up as a result of all the changes that we made to the traffic, but it's not enough. The primary demand right now is residential, so that's what we're going to do. Now what I did over here was I basically got this set up so that a lot of the finicky stuff was taken care of. We've got uh, a highway that runs along this way in this direction to this is the external connection of the highway this was there uh, before we even bought this plot of land and then we've got uh, a bit of an interchange here so that different vehicles going in different directions getting onto different highways uh, have the option to do so without too many headaches and, and hiccups and things of that nature we've got that uh, but also We've got another highway that's running underground all the way along here where this gap is uh, and comes out over here so that we have the highway going in that direction into the uh, industrial area that we can connect to fairly easily. But it leaves us a little bit of space between this highway and this main road so that we can make the connections that we need to if we have to. If we want to make another connection, for example, connecting this highway to the main road over here so that it bypasses some of the traffic that's going all the way down here. All kinds of things that we can do. We needed that little bit of extra space if we wanted to run the highways right next to each other. So we ended up with a tunnel. We've also got um, near perfect water coverage for this new, th new spot going in. So that's taken care of. Uh, you can see these lines here where the overlap is not quite perfect, but it's close enough. The Whatever goes in this area is going to have water, and that's the important thing. Now to keep a, uh, an eye on our water supply, our power supply, our sewage, garbage, things like that. But for now, let's just uh, get some, some low-density residential in here. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do is have like this main road apart from the highways so that vehicles could get off the highways and then do their wandering around on this main road here. And if vehicles don't want to be going into this area, they aren't being slowed down by people who, who are wandering around on the, the main road here. So we wanted a little bit of a distinction, but we still have to be careful about all the intersections that are going to be going in when we set this up. So we, we're just going to keep that in the back of our minds. Um, too many intersections is not our friend. So one of the things that I wanted to do was kind of do like a, a semicircle kind of setup. So we'll do something like, uh, like that. And then we'll do a little something like this, maybe. And uh, again, like in other areas in the city, I want to make some effort to control um, how much overlap there is in the zone tiles so that we can get as much stuff 
packed into all these areas as we possibly can. Uh, but without being too crazy about it, we, you know, we're not looking for absolute 100% uh, accountability for how every square meter of land is used. We just don't want to be sloppy and, and uh, create problems for ourselves not making use of the land that we have because we can't be bothered to put a little bit of thought and effort into it. I think it's not far enough. This looks a little bit better. And to start off, like anything else that I've been doing with the city, I don't want to zone, you know, the next three years worth of uh, residential space because then it, it doesn't get used properly and people say, wait a second, uh, I built a house way out here in the middle of nowhere. There's no services. There's no neighbors. I don't like it. I'm leaving. We don't want to give people an excuse to be cranky because people, uh, they, they do that just fine on their own. <laughs> they, don't, they don't need our help. We're just going to kind of extend that up a little bit. We're going to extend this guy up a little bit. Uh, we might as well extend this guy out a little bit too. And... Yeah, that's not too bad. And then what we can do is take a slightly smaller road. It's not going to let us do that. What we'll do is we'll go like that, and like that, and like that, and that, and that, and that. So now all of these roads are connected, which is what we want. Uh, and the next step is connecting it down here. There's going to be an intersection there anyways, so there's no harm in making use of it. And here, this isn't really so much an intersection as it is highway off-ramps, uh, helping vehicles to get on and off the highway from this area. So it's it's not really an intersection, but it's, look like, it's looking like the best we're going to get for right now. I've also got, before anyone wonders, a police and a fire station right here. And where did it go? Did it did it go into hiding? I have a metro station around here somewhere too that I put in knowing that we were going to need it. There it is right there. With the, I couldn't see it because the flashing power thing, but that'll be corrected momentarily. So we've already got the metro station in place. I don't have the lines set up yet, but I have the tunnels all in place. And that's going to help people uh, get to work a little bit faster. We're going to have, actually, do a little bit something like that. Again, the focus is on the low-density residential, but that doesn't mean that we can't put in a little bit of low-density commercial. Just recognizing that people are going to want to be able to uh, shop, buy groceries, and all the other things. So we'll zone the larger chunks for the residential and leave the smaller chunks. We can either zone them residential later. We can do that. There's nothing stopping us from doing that if we want to. Or we can use those to respond to uh, the demand for commercial that'll kind of spring up on the heels of this area growing and people moving in and demanding other things besides simply a house to live in. We're going to need uh, one of these guys, a park of some sort. I, I, I did some looking, I used the overlays, I did some uh, examination, I guess you could say, of what was happening in our uh, other low-density res residential right next to the ore, or sorry, the oil uh, industrial area, and they were basically all educated no matter what I did, so with trying to keep them dumb is just, it, it, it doesn't actually work. <laughs> so we're not going to worry too much about denying the people in this area an education uh, we're going to look after them as best we can by making sure that they have access to the things that, uh, that, that decent people like, like schools and such for their kids. Uh, we want to, uh, we want to be able to handle their healthcare needs. We didn't put anything in here, did we? No, we didn't. So we're going to put in a clinic. We'll put it up here. And we're going to put in, uh, there it is. <laughs> right beside the clinic again. If your clinic visit doesn't go so good, don't worry. It's just right across the street is the other side of that equation. And I think... Uh, yes, we're going to do this. 
and this and this and hopefully that'll grab the power and it'll expand and it'll go and do what it needs to do how are we looking for police fire that should be good and the bus All right, I think we have everything set up that we need, except, uh, very quickly, before I forget, we will set up our metro. Look at that great big, long, <laughs> it's like, I just, I really, I should have it going that way, but the river, I dredged it when I was doing all this stuff here, and it's too deep. It won't let me place uh, a metro line or tunnel underneath the river because it's it says it's too steep no matter where I go so it's kind of a a bummer actually let's do it over here we'll bring that one up there to there and there and there and then back down and around to no we aren't going to worry about sending it all the way there there, that'll be that. Now, all we have to do, get out of this view, start it. Go, uh, residential area, go. Build the houses, we got the power for the metro connected, the park has got power. This does not yet have power, but it will eventually, shortly. You can see the traffic is moving nicely over the, the bridge already. A lot of the, the congestion that we were seeing that was causing problems with industrial uh, traffic getting to commercial areas was in this area. And one of the things that I did was I built a tunnel so that vehicles that just want to get out of town can go through this tunnel. And it's a fairly quick route. Comes out over here up to there. You can see there's, there's a certain amount of traffic that really would like to get out of town. So we've accommodated them. Now it's just a matter of having everything sort of grow and expand and people go to work and be happy and make money, pay taxes, get rid of all these abandoned buildings. That's that's kind of the goal. That's what we're after. So let's see if we get what we're after. All right, so after a few minutes watching, just to see what happens, I can see that this whole process of rehabilitating this industrial area is going to be very, very, very slow. It's it's just the nature of the beast, I think. There's not much that we can do to speed it up. What's happening is that this area is filling out slowly. You can see the demand is actually starting to creep back up for residential, but once we got this in place and said, okay, go, simulation, go, uh, it, the residential demand kind of dropped to reflect the people that were building houses in the newly zoned areas and then it stayed low along with commercial and the industrial but you could see there would be a bunch of houses that would go in here and then some of these guys would be um, rebuilt so you can see this one is good this one like all these guys down here they're back in business but there's still a lot that are either abandoned or don't have enough workers and then after these guys kind of rebuild, then it comes over here and some of these houses will level up. And then it'll be a bunch more of these kind of regrow and then some of these level up. Next episode, we're going to have some more houses in place. Because the residential demand is increasing, which is excellent. The commercial units that we put down here are basically dead. Not enough workers, both abandoned. We might just switch those to straight up residential. Or just be patient and leave them. One thing that I do want to look at, you can see this is one area where we still have a certain amount of um, traffic that just 
is not really moving very well is I want to look at maybe putting in a highway bypass like you can see these trucks here they're basically going all the way down and turning off at various different intervals or leaving entirely so if we, there's something that we can do to maybe put like a highway just adjacent to this one a level up across here so that the vehicles that just want to get out of town along this route can do so without any of these intersections getting in their way we could probably alleviate a lot of this congestion right in here so we're going to do that we're going to expand the residential we're going to keep an eye on this area down here once this area here is back up and running the way it ought to be you can see people are getting happier and happier all the time then we can move on and we can start looking at other areas of the city to either finish them off or uh, start new projects you can see we're still uh, a long ways away from using the land that we have available to us and we have three more plots that we're going to be able to use at some point in the future so if you want to be notified when i add the next video doing all these crazy things as always you can subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media links for social media are always in the information box below the video please leave your comments and feedback thanks for watching guys and take care